From the DebtProdigy.com studios, you're listening to One on One. Joining me is Dave Bush with Extraordinary Health Coaching. Dave, how are you today? I am failing forward, Jimmy. Well, you know, that's an interesting thing to say because we're talking about motivation. We're talking about getting healthy. And what happens if you fail? We all fall into that. We, we have this plan. We're going at it. We're moving forward. All of a sudden, something happens. We fail. We fall off the truck. And then now we have to pick ourselves back up and start moving forward again. So how can a person, let's just use what you just told me, how can you fail forward? Well, you know, when I was playing football with the Iowa Barnstormers back in the 90s, you know, we had a pretty good run. We didn't lose a lot of games, but when we did lose a game, uh, Coach John Gregory would, uh, you know, he'd have a he'd have a talk with us, and he wouldn't end up berating us uh, into the point where we felt like that we were worthless uh, people and we couldn't ever respond. What he did was he focused on the things that we did right. And then he focused on the things that we could improve upon. And so I think that everybody needs to come back to the mindset of what are the things that you did right? If you if you did a, a healthy lifestyle for four or five days and then you fell off the wagon for one day, one day doesn't define you if you let it. It can refine you into becoming the healthier person that you want to be by just simply reviewing the tape and say, this is what I did right three days or four days. And then this is the circumstances that surrounded this one area where I fell off the wagon. And if you can think of it like a game, right, there's some things out there that you could probably improve upon. And if the next time you go through the week and you make those healthy lifestyle choices, you're probably not going to get distracted because you've now learned from the failure rather than taking the failure and, you know, throwing the talent and saying, I can't do it. I've tried this before. I've tried a thousand times. I was one of those guys that had failed and got to the point where I felt like giving up. But a friend of mine invited me to get healthier. He showed me that he had gotten healthier and that was an inspiration to me. So all I did was I just simply took his inspiration and started with the mindset that, you know what, I'll try it for 28 days. And 28 days later, I had found enough success to want to try it for another 28 days. And when I did fall off the wagon, I didn't give up. I just tried it for another 28 days. Well, and sometimes we could label something as a failure and it's not really a failure. So like me, I I lost 80 pounds and then all of a sudden for the next three years, I'm I'm changing things up like they tell you. You got to do this. You got to do that. You can't do the same thing because your muscles kind of get into sync of getting used to that, and you got to switch that up to shock your muscles. But I was on a plateau for three years, and talk about a frustration. But at some point, you had to. It wasn't really a failure. It's still your body looking at the change that you've done. So you have to look at that different. Yeah, you know, a lot of people tell me that they know what they need to. Know, they know what they need to do. They just need to do it. Right. And the reality of it is, is, is it's not, that's not true because if you really knew the benefits of doing what it is that you want to do, you'd be doing it. Mm-hmm. I'm confident of that. I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people to get healthier and it wasn't because they knew everything. It was because they were coachable and teachable to learn how to live a healthier lifestyle. Most people don't even know how many calories that they need to burn to burn off the, to burn off that extra pound of fat per week or two pounds of fat per week. 3,500 calories is one pound of fat. So if you want to burn off one pound of fat per week, you need to create a deficit of 500 calories a day. Most people don't even know how many calories they're burning in a day, Jimmy. Mm-hmm. So a lot of this stuff is not about necessarily failing uh, as a person. It's more about falling short on education and understanding and perspective. Well, like you said, it's being coachable and teachable. And that's where a lot of people fall short is they don't allow themselves to be coachable and teachable, even though they always say you always need to be learning, especially if you want to you know, keep, let's talk about exercising your mind. To keep it going, to keep it sharp, you always need to be learning and doing something. Right. So many people are focused in on what they're consuming in terms of food or what they're supposed to be doing in terms of exercise, when in reality, it's all in between the ears, right? It's what you're consuming in terms of education, inspiration, motivation, who you're spending time with. And, you know, Tony Robbins says that success leaves clues. You know, living a better life and getting healthy and doing the things that you really want to be, do, and have in life is not a mystery. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of uh, hocus pocus. It's a matter of focus, focus. You just need to get down and laser targeted on what it is that you want to do. And then you got to look for other people that are doing it, that are like you, and go out there and just model their behavior. It's really that simple. Yes, it is. I mean, and of course, we say it's simple. Then you have a lot of people that they try to complicate it as much as they can. But really, if you think about it, it's simple. And if you know you can do it, then why don't you just do it? Right. It's not easy, but it is simple. 
And if you do what's simple on a daily basis and you stay committed to it and you stay focused on the long-term benefits, you don't just look at the day-to-day results. You look at the long-term benefits and long-term results you can end up changing your life and living an extraordinary life. We've been talking with Dave Bush with Extraordinary Health Coaching. So, Dave, if they want to talk to you about this some more or to find more motivation, how can they do that? Hey, check us out on the web. You can go to ehealthcoaching.com. That's the letter E, the word health, and the word coaching, followed by .com, and download a free ebook. You've been listening to One-on-One with Jimmy Olsen from the DebtProdigy.com studios.